How did shrimp become the center of a radiation scandal? Indonesia was left in shock after the United States Food and Drug Administration announced that traces of cesium-137, a radioactive substance, had been found in frozen shrimp products exported from PT Bahari Makmur Sejati in Serang, Banten. Following this discovery, the Indonesian government quickly responded by halting operations at the BMS factory, ordering an environmental audit, and evacuating workers as a safety measure. Investigations later revealed that the contamination was primarily spread through airborne dust produced during the scrap metal melting process of PT Peter Metal Technology a smelting plant located less than 2 kilometers from the BMS production facility. That plant had imported scrap metal from the Philippines that was already contaminated with cesium-137. The incident also affected people living and working nearby, with over 1,500 people screened and 9 who were exposed to radiation receiving treatment with Persian blue medicine. Despite these measures, this case exposed major weaknesses in Indonesia's radiation monitoring systems, which failed to detect contamination in goods entering and leaving the country. These concerns deepened when a similar case emerged, involving cloves exported by PT Natural Java Spites in Surabaya, East Java, which was also linked to another smelting plant using imported scrap metal in the same area. The FDA later implemented new import rules, requiring shipments from certain regions in Java and Lampung to include certification proving they are free of cesium-137. In the end, this crisis reminds us that true precaution lies in better monitoring and accountable regulation, ensuring that progress never comes at the cost of safety. So, 